What's up, everyone? This is Tech Trooper 64 and a couple of days ago, as people can recall, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, the next Call of Duty game in 2016, has finally been revealed to the public and is being dubbed Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. You're going to be seeing a picture on screen right now of what are the prices in Canada. Yes, these are Canadian prices for the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare game. Now... This is a couple of days after, so I'm not going to make this completely about Infinite Warfare. But long story short, it's on a new graphics engine, A. B, it's not for last gen. It's only for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And it will be also coming with a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 remaster. Or Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Sorry, I'm not really familiar with the title. But anyways... But, get this, there's only two editions, or not only two, but there's two editions available. There's the standard edition of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, which comes with the new game, and there's Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Legacy Edition. It comes with the remaster of Modern Warfare, the very first Modern Warfare, and it also comes with the Infinite Warfare game. Now, the YouTube trailer that is, re that is the revealed trailer for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare debuted on Monday. And it got more than 8 million views. However, it got a lot of dislikes. And it's still growing, the number of dislikes over likes. And it's overtaking the video of how many dislikes there are. Now, the reason for this is because of the whole bullshit that you have to buy the Legacy Edition, which, if you can see on the picture on screen that I just put up, uh, it is more expensive. Significantly more expensive. Especially in Canada, the fact that we have to pay $100 for it. But yeah, no, it's it's expensive. People aren't happy that they have to pay more money, and it's not just part of the standard edition. I'm pretty pissed off about that too. But after this happened, this whole dislike thing going on YouTube, and it's still growing, like I said, with over 370,000 dislikes. Yeah, uh, Activision has commented on this at their financial investors meeting, and what they said was a pretty good response, but I still think it's kind of bullshit, this whole thing. They say... We know that there are a lot of people in our community who are nostalgic for the boots-on-the-ground style gameplay. That's why we made Modern Warfare Remastered. But we also have millions of people in our community who want to have new innovative experiences in the game each year, and Infinite Warfare is going to deliver that. The good news this year is that we found a way to deliver both in one package while keeping our community together. While, of course, we see the passionate opinions on the, online, we also look at other measurements. And the fact is, while it's very early, pre-orders are off to a very strong start. V views of the reveal trailer are up, and in fact, the numbers of likes per view on the Infinite Warfare trailer are the highest we've ever seen. We've seen this in the franchise before. The reveal trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which took the franchise to the future for the very first time, had the most dislikes of any reveal trailer that we have ever made in that time. That went on to be our most successful game ever. Right now, the franchise has never been stronger. While we have more players playing Black Ops 3, a game that takes place in the future with boost jumps and fictitious weapons, than any game in our history. What we know for sure is is that we always did just what worked in the past, and we never took any creative risks. We would never have a franchise. The day to worry is the day that we stop trying new things. So it's interesting how he says that. How um, What I like about the whole statement as a whole is how he says that we get it how you guys want both the futuristic Call of Duties, but you also want the old-style Call of Duties. Like, I have a friend named Ethan, I think I brought him up before on the channel, and he plays the old Call of Duty still, and the reason why is because he doesn't like the whole jumping around stuff that's in, like, Advanced Warfare onward. He doesn't like it. So, he wants the old kind of Call of Duty that he used to play, um, like, of the old days. So, this would be perfect for him, and, you know, it sucks, yeah, he has to pay more money for the remaster, but to the other side, it's just, it kind of makes more sense to do it, I guess. Now, on the other side of things, I do have a friend also, my sister's girlfriend, and she always looks at every Call of Duty game, and she always looks for a new innovative thing. She's the kind of person who wants innovation in, in every installment of a game. So, if there's no good innovation, for example, she criticized Black Ops 3 for being exactly like Advanced Warfare, except for the ability of running on walls, and that's nothing new, too new. So, I don't know if 
you know, this placates to her preference. But hey, going into space is something brand new. We haven't seen in the franchise before. So it's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to the game. I will be getting the standard edition. I have no incentive to get the Modern Warfare Remastered Legacy Edition. I have no intention to buy it for $110. So I don't think I'll be purchasing the game. But tell me in the comments down below, what do you guys think about this statement from Activision? Do you agree with it? Do you like it? Do you still hate the fact that you had to pay more money for the remaster and the original game? Let me know in the comments down below, even if you are getting Infinite Warfare this, this November. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.